Hey everybody, I'm Josh Skinner from withjosh.com and with me is Lauren Berger, the intern queen. Hello. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Hey. Welcome to Studio City. Thank you very much. It's very nice out here today. You know, it, you know, it is winter actually and it's probably 85 degrees here in California. So I thought yeah. let's do the interview outside. So Lauren, let's talk about it. What exactly is the intern queen? Well, I'm the intern queen because I had 15 internships during my four years of college, and I've now created a business around it. It's called Intern Queen Inc., and my website is internqueen.com. Okay, so now, why did you have 15 internships? Could you not make up your mind, or not keep an internship, or what's the story? Well, I never planned to have 15 internships, but they just kind of started piling up. And when I was about to graduate in 2006 from the University of Central Florida, I looked back on my college career and I said, man, I've had a lot of internships. Maybe I should start an internship company. Now, give me an example of some of the internships that you actually had. Uh, Fox, MTV, NBC, I interned for Showtime at one point, BWR Public Relations, Warren Cowan Public Relations, and a ton of others. Now, uh, so they're basically all entertainment related? Mostly entertainment and media related, some PR internships as well. Now were they just not keeping you on or was I... <laughs> no, I mean usually an internship is about an 8 to 10 week time period. Okay. So I would do my internship and then I would move on to the next. But I would double and triple these internships up. I came out to Los Angeles one summer and I wanted to make the most of my time here because I'm from Florida and there wasn't really anything entertainment wise going on in Florida, unless you count, you know, the Mickey Mouse Club in 1984 and such. But um, I came out here and I trickled them up. I had three internships in one summer, and that's kind of how I did it. I wanted to get, you know, the most bang for my buck. Now, how important is an internship? An internship is so important, especially now in 2010. I mean, the job market is more competitive than ever before, and internships themselves are more competitive than ever before. And students aren't only competing against one another now, they're competing against high school students who magically have internship programs now where they can get college credit. Okay, so Lauren, take me back uh, from your last internship to your first job, what was that? My last internship, where was my last internship? Was in Orlando, Florida. I think it was actually one of the internships I don't uh, reference too often because it was at Transcontinental Records okay. in Orlando, which if you remember Lou Pearlman yes. and the whole in sync days, yeah, that company's not exactly around anymore, but I did intern there and it was definitely an experience. I don't know if it was a great experience or not, but I had that internship and you know, I had a slew of others on my resume and I moved out to Los Angeles. I got in contact with everybody from my internships in LA and I said, hey, it's me, remember me, I interned for you at whatever, you know, course time period and I'm here and I really want to get a job do you have anyone that you could set me up on meetings with so do you feel it's it's really who you know no. it, I mean you know usually it is who you know but it's also the experience that you have under the belt you want to walk into an interview confident that your resume represents you well and an internship is the best way to do that Wow okay now your first job was with CAA the huge mega agency yes what was that like it was nuts. I mean, I worked for Tracy Brennan, who is uh, the head of the motion picture talent department at CAA. She is very, very successful and very, very impressive and very intimidating to work under. And I worked under her for two years at CAA and I watched how she ran her business. And you know what? That's the only reason I know how to run my business today is because I was able to watch her. And I saw, you know, oh, this worked for her. Oh, this didn't work for her. Oh, this really helped get her organized and helped her stay on track. I mean, she never had a slow day when everybody else in the office was having a slow day because maybe it was a Friday or it was a holiday. She was always on top of her game, making calls, you know, creating work for herself and putting work in front of her and making, um, or getting results and really achieving things. And that's what I try to do every day when everybody else is saying, oh, it's a slow day, it's Friday, I don't want to be here. Or, oh, you know, it's 6 p.m., it's late, I am getting to it and I'm taking initiative and I'm always trying to keep myself busy. How did you go from CAA working for her and mm -hmm. starting your own company? Well, I. Which, by the way, I, I'm sorry to interrupt okay. you, but I just want everyone to know. Uh, Lauren was actually just named uh, one of the top five, under the yes. age of 25, entrepreneurs uh, from Business Week. 
Yes, thank Congratulations. you. Thank you very much. I was the only female on the top five, which I thought was very cool and very kind of exciting. Rock it out. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you go from CAA to your own company? So I was working at CAA and I always tell people, you know, you want to tell people what you want to do and what you're all about. And I told everybody at this agency that I was the intern queen, which, you know, didn't go over too well, I don't think. Um, I definitely was not, the intern queen was not welcome per se. Um, but you know, I kept putting myself out there. I kept telling people I want to be the intern queen. I have this idea for a company. I think it could really work. And sure enough, I told enough people because an agent that sat down the hall from me that I had never met before called me one day and he said, is this Lauren Berger who calls herself the intern queen? And I said, yes, it is. And he said, I have a client, Marshall Herskovitz, the, you know, very uh, successful. successful Hollywood film producer. He said, Marshall would like to take a meeting with you. Are you available? And I said, absolutely. You know, when and Marshall's where. produced Blood Diamond. Traffic. Uh, traffic. He did My So-Called Life, my so -called which I'm Life. sure everybody loves. It's a huge following. Yeah. He most recently did Defiance, and he's working on another picture right now. But yeah, Marshall is great, and he is every entrepreneur's dream. I mean, he was the guy that sat down with me and said, Lauren, I believe in what you're doing. I love it. This is amazing. Let's do it. Let's run with it. He said, you know, quit your job at CAA. Um, and he invested in me and he is a 12% owner in my company. So still to this day, he owns 12% of intern cleaning. Should it ever sell, you know, fingers crossed in the future. And yeah, it was just a, a really great experience. And it just goes to show you've got to tell people what you're all about. You have to put yourself out there because things aren't just going to come to you. What's the number one mistake people make uh, in college for not being prepared for it, like in an internship or what? I think in college people are just maybe a little bit too relaxed. I think they need to focus on their future a little bit more. And that's in all aspects of, all aspects of college life. You know, it's fo get focused financially, get on top of things, and start thinking about your, your career at an early age. Because these high school students, I'm telling you, they're getting internships and they're going to come in as freshmen in college and they're going to be in the running for really competitive, top-notch internships. So you need to start interning early. Everybody should have at least two or three internships under their belt by the time they graduate college. I think the statistic right now is that over 70% of college students have internship experience on their resume once they graduate. So 70%, that's a huge statistic. So students really need to take this seriously and start getting internships. Really quick before we go, explain how your website actually works. So students go on to internqueen.com. There is no login because I hate logins. Um, none of that business. You don't have to become a member or anything, but you can simply scroll through, look at all of the internships. There's about 500 internship listings on there. Pick the internship you want um, and you click apply. You'll enter your information you'll copy paste your resume right into there and then it'll come directly to me and the nice thing is that starting on January 11th which is next Monday a week from when we're taping this interview um, you are going to be able to apply for as many internships as you want for free which is huge apply to a hundred internships it's fine we're getting sponsored by a great company called one cubicle it's onecubicle.com and they're gonna sponsor free internships on internqueen.com for students so I'm very excited about that and then of course we have blogs and videos and other fun stuff for you for you to enjoy while you're cruising around the site I just want to take a moment mm -hmm. uh, to your I don't know if you think about this but you're really changing people's lives I mean your place no no you no seriously you Thank are you are you're, uh, you're you're bringing people uh, possibly to uh, the job market that they weren't aware of and I know that you're website's a little different from other ones because you're personally forwarding that information. There's not like some monster computer or anything. You actually look at every... every Ex exactly. And you know, that's what I hope does make the difference for the students is they send me the resume and they're not sending it to a computer system. They're sending it to me. I mean, I'm personally going into that system and forwarding every night hundreds of resumes directly to employers that are looking for interns. And then I'm emailing the students back, usually three to four business days after they send in their resume, just to say, you know, hey, Josh, you know, I just sent your resume to Seventeen Magazine and to where, wherever it's <laughs> going Bob. to. But, you know, and it, it's from Lauren Berger, and there's my information right there. And if they have any questions, they can get back to me directly. So it's just a very personalized experience. And it's something that I didn't get when I was in school, when I wanted an internship. There was no one to help me. So I'm just trying to be there for the students so that they have someone to look at, someone to turn to, and someone to ask questions to when they don't know what's going on. Well, you heard it here first. Check it out, internqueen.com. 
Lauren's also working on a brand new book, hopefully out next year. And uh, we're just <laughs> having a lot of fun. So uh, thank you so much. We'll see you later. Thanks, Josh. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and she's also college tours. Check her out on the college tours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching with Josh.com. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks.